Well, hey, good morning. It's uh, Saturday, June 6th, I believe. And uh, we're out at the marina. It's a uh, really, really strong north wind today and three to five footers on the lake. So probably not going to be out. Probably not going to be out sailing today, but um, I'm working on another interesting little project that I thought I'd share with you. So in the last uh, couple weeks, we've had, had temperatures in the 90s. Um, extremely hot, humid, sticky. Uh, I was out here at the marina one day using this as an office, my office away from home, and uh, man, it was it was 88 degrees I think in the boat. No no wind movement at all, hardly. Extremely hot and sticky. So I was I was thinking about a project last year and I never did it, um, but I I bit the bullet this year. And I've decided I'm going to install some poor man's marine air conditioning. <clears throat> so most marine boats, uh, most marine boats, most boats uh, use marine air conditioning that actually pumps water out of the lake, uses it to help cool the, the condenser. Um, you'll notice a lot of boats, it looks like their bilge pump's running all the time. That's not their bilge pump, that's their air conditioner pump pumping lake water. Which is generally in the you know cooler temperatures. And I think today our lake temperature is about 60 degrees. Um, but you know, in order to do that, you have to have a through hull, you know, for your water pump. Uh, it's a much more involved process. There's ducting to, you know, generally got to run ducting around the boat. You got to find a place for the compressor and blower on your boat, and all those things take up pretty valuable space, and particularly on a little boat like tally-ho um, but I've seen this I've seen this trick before where somebody takes a small window air conditioner mounts it in the companion way when they're on the boat or when they're away from the boat and they want to keep the boat cool and the humidity down they run the air conditioner when they get to the boat they pull it off and throw it on the dock or put it on the floor somewhere in the boat and sail um, and so today my my project is to take this uh, used air conditioner that I bought for 60 bucks and see if I can uh, mount it here in a way that allows me to get in and out of the boat a little bit. That's why it's off center. Uh, I have to build a little bit of a, a companion way washboards, you know, to go around this to make it weather weather tight. Um, and then I think I can, you know, turn on some air and, and have some coolness. Today it's only 72 degrees, and the humidity broke and all that. <clears throat> So it's much, it's much, much nicer today. We don't really need air conditioning, but um, decided that we would, uh, you know, take the take the opportunity and try to install it while the weather's not quite so damn hot. So we'll have a little bit more as we get started on the project. Well, here is our first uh, rough cut at putting in the air conditioner. Um, you can see I use some uh, uh, insulating board, um, half inch thick to kind of replicate the thickness of the uh, of the washboards. Thickness, it's okay. It's a little flimsier than wood, and maybe if I really like the design but want it more sturdy, I could uh, take that template and cut it out of plywood. Um, I have a second half sheet of this purple stuff and I was thinking maybe I would try and double the thickness. Looks like it'd have to go on the outside edge because there's really not much room in that that gap for the um, in that gap for the washboards it takes that half inch pretty well. Um, right now the air conditioner is just sitting on a foam um, seat cushion out there. I'll come up with something a little different than that, um, but I think height-wise and angle-wise, it's okay. The one important thing about this is it needs to lean backwards away from the cabin a bit, um, so that water that condensates and and drips into the tray will drain backwards into the cockpit and not forwards into the. Uh, into the companion way <clears throat> and down the stairs. So we gotta make sure that that looks about right. Um, 
luckily for me, I do have a 110 outlet in uh, this berth back here and the cable was long enough to reach so we don't have to run an extension cord, which I was hoping to avoid. Um, and I've got to do some, you know, I've got to do a little bit of trim around there and it's hard to get that in exact exact cut um, so I've got to come up with a way either that second board fit in there or a piece of trim or um, you know if the thing was gonna stay there I could tape you know use some duct tape or something around it to seal it one option that I'm toying around with is cutting this board you know somewhere right along here to make it a two-piece washboard and then I could, um, you know, take out this top piece. I still wouldn't have this access, like to walk here, but I could walk over that probably easy enough and leave the rest of it mounted. You know, unless I'm actually going out for a sale, then I'd have to move it. But then maybe I could just lift the whole unit out with the taped thing on it. So that, that's one option I'm, I'm toying around with, having have to think about that. Um, I will tell you though that um, you know the air is blowing cool. Um, one of the things about these little units is they really rely on you know cooling air and then recycling that cool air to keep getting the temperature down. Uh, I, <laughs> I plugged this into my garage the other day when I brought it home, um, and you know it was 90 degrees out. It's sitting in a hot garage. I turn it on, and although you could feel you know it was a little bit cool. You know, it sure didn't feel like it was blowing ice cold. And uh, I think that was because it wasn't able to recycle the, the air that it's cooling. Um, and so uh, it, feels, it feels better now. I'm gonna keep an eye on the temperature. The, it was eight, uh, 79, it's 79 in the boat right now. I just turned the air conditioner on, so I think we'll watch it for a little while. We'll see if it, if it actually lowers the temperature some. In addition to the temperature, the other reason for the air conditioner is to try and keep the, you know, humidity down in here. The without air conditioning, you know, the boat get very, very humid, and uh, we're trying to trying to uh, you know drop the humidity in here when the boat's all closed up. It's hot and sticky and mold and mildew and stuff has a tendency to, to grow. So, um, anyway, for right now, we're gonna we're just gonna let this percolate for a bit while I think about uh, other options here in terms of trimming it out and how else to cut that washboard. Um, and uh, we'll check in with you once we see what the temperature does. Well, it's uh, I don't know a little bit later, not too much later, 15 minutes later or so, and the boat temp. Insides down to 77. Uh, so I think this thing is going to work just fine. I bet on a really hot day it, it struggles to keep you know the boat really cool. But considering there's really not much insulation in these boats, um, you know I think it's going to do what I want it to do, which is to you know knock the heat and humidity down a little bit. Um, and I think that's about all we can really ask for. So uh, I think we're, I think we're in business. I'm gonna just put some tape around. I think the opening for now. I don't know if we're gonna get rain anytime soon, but just to make sure it doesn't get wet in here. And I got a gap around this side. A little bit of a gap on that side. The top has a bar there, but it's not sealed down, so we'll tape around that. And I think that'll, you know, give us at least enough uh, enough coolness and a little less humidity in the boat when we're not here, so that when we do come out, um, you know, it's not super humid. If I happen to be using this as an office, which I do occasionally, you know, it'd be nice to have. Um, it would be nice to have a little less heat and humidity in here. Um, so I think uh, I think I'm going to clean this mess up a little bit. Um, that's some leftover parts from when it was in a window, and uh, I'll put a little tape around it, and I think we'll be I think we'll be good. 
So one last thing I'm doing to uh, try and improve the air conditioning thing in the boat. Um, I have two big, you know, fairly big hatches. Um, and they let in a lot of heat, a lot of light. They are tinted slightly, I think, but um, they put let in a lot of light and a lot of heat. So I just um, took some reflect reflexic reflectix i think it's called it's a real thin almost like bubble wrap material that has a, a, a metallic film on either side of it i use it for a couple other little projects including uh um making a little cover for the refrigerator that little bit of reflectix in there seems to really help keep the uh, the cold in um, just just having it laying in there like that does a tremendous job I used to get a lot of condensation on the around the edge of the refrigerator <clears throat> I know this isn't the best of sealing you know material here um, so that reflectix really made a huge difference so I just I just cut a couple of pieces and taped them up over the two big hatches uh, I don't want it to be so dark in here that you know you have to use a light but these port lights on the side also let in a fair amount of light. If I really wanted to, I could cut a piece of uh, that material <clears throat> to cover up those big windows. But um, for now, I think we'll leave them. Um, we'll cover up the big hatches and see if see if that does some good. We could still open them if we want to, um, but we're going to see if that helps keep some of the some of the heat out when it's really really warm here. Um, so that's about that's about it for the air conditioner project. I taped up the uh, the outside, and um, I think it'll hold off the water. And uh, you know, it's still 78 in here. It, it actually went up a degree. That's why I decided I better put the reflectix in. Um, I don't know what the temperature outside is, but certainly the sun is warm, and um, I guess we, we'll see how this works. Well, uh, we are going to call uh, call it a day today. It's a little after 11 o'clock. Uh, the air conditioner is on and running. The temperature in the boat is holding now at 77 degrees. You know, we, uh, we blocked off the top hatches with some reflexite. And I've closed the, I forgot I have blinds on these windows, so we close those. Um, and that helps, I think, keep the sunlight out and the temperature down. I'm gonna do this one back here too before I leave. <laughs> Certainly makes the boat darker, but if the goal is to keep the temperature down, not much better way to do that than to close up all the blinds. Um, so I think this will be uh, pretty successful. Four man's air conditioner for 60 bucks. Not a bad deal.